Hi everyone, I'm back for another quick tutorial in Cinema 4D and today we're going to be looking at uh, textures and um, how to create high resolution textures from any texture you find online. So previously you had to work quite hard to make your textures tileable and also to work with your uh, 3D models. So making them high resolution was a quite a daunting task. But now with the Photoshop AI feature, I'm going to show you how you can make a texture look uh, bigger and to also tile quite nicely in your 3D model. So I've got Cinema 4D open here and with a very simple scene, just a couple of um, simple objects with a plane. And I'm going to be using this plane here to apply a tileable texture. And you can use this technique for any texture you find online. So I'm going to just go over to my panel and change the arrangement to two side by side so I can see it better. And I'm also going to fire up the Corona interactive viewport just so I can see what's going on. So at the moment, I have this scene, which is just a simple scene with a kind of a mirrored dichroic film um, panel. And I want to replace this um, panel with a, a texture. And maybe let's go and find a texture online, something that's uh, pretty difficult to replicate. So let's go and see, uh, find a texture that's usually quite hard to work with, something that has some um, repetition. Maybe let's find something like a terrazzo texture i'm going to go for that one and i'm not even going to try and and save the image as i'm literally going to screenshot the image i'm just going to screenshot that square i'm not even going to bother trying to make it nice and neat. i'm just going to literally square uh screenshot it from within the texture just like that and i'm going to save it okay so now i've got my texture in my system so i'm just going to go and create a new corona material, physical material. I'm just going to leave it as is, a default. I'm going to open the corona a node material editor. And I'm going to drag and drop my material in there. And I'm going to get my texture. And I'm just literally going to apply it to the texture slot of my material. There you go. And I'm going to apply it to my surface just to see how that works so as you can see it's massive so i'm just going to go and um, apply the uv as cubic and i might have to reduce the scale of it yes yeah, so i'm going to reduce the scale to say 30 percent on both axes something like this okay so as you can see it's kind of working but you can still see the repetition in the texture you see those um red bits so i'm going to try and to fix that in photoshop so i'm going to open my texture in photoshop so go over to photoshop open up my texture there you go and in here what i need to do i need to maybe basically extend the size of my canvas and with the extension uh, being blank, I'm just going to use Photoshop AI to fill in those blanks, eh, which is going to give me a hopefully a tileable, more tileable texture. And I'm going to play around with the, the, the sizes of the bits in the texture. So let's go to image and let's go to canvas size. And at the moment, it's 337 by 337. I want to make it 500 by 500. And I'm going to extend it from the center. So it's going to extend it on four corners. And I'm simply going to go and get my uh, selection tool. I'm going to select the four sides of the texture, making sure that it's into the texture. So I'm going inside the texture as well. You can see here, I'm adding a bit more into my selection from the texture. So the AI has a bit more uh, information to work with. I'm doing the same thing on the other side. I'm going to slide the inside the texture. Same at the bottom. And I'm simply going to go over to the um, AI generation tool here, generative field. So I'm going to click generative field with no prompt and generate. So let's see what that does. It should give me the rest of my texture and it should make it look quite seamless. So let's see what that. Yep, yeah, so that's perfect. So as you can see, it's done what it needed to do. Now I just need to go and adjust the, the bits that are jumping out. So I think the red bits, I want to go and select the red bit here. 
and maybe that one as well. I'm going to generate fill. And there you go. So you can keep playing with that and, you know, find ways to make it more tidable. But this looks like it's working. And if I, I want to test if it's working by go to, I'm going to flatten my image. And I'm going to go over to filter and other and offset. And as I offset the texture, I shouldn't see any lines or anything jumping out in terms of repetition. There is a line down here. You can see someone trying to fix that. And there's another one up here. So I'm going to leave my texture as is now. And I'm going to go over to my selection tool again. I'm going to select this line up here and this line up here. And I'm simply going to go to generate again and see what happens. Okay, so my line has disappeared. If I keep going to, um, I'm going to flatten my image. I'm going to go to filter, other and offset. And I'm just going to double check again to see that I've got any more. This one down here, I'm just going to go back to my selection. There we go. And generate fill again. That should be the last uh, piece of adjustment that I do on this texture. The rest of it looks pretty fine. Okay, so now that I've got my texture done, it looks quite similar. So I'm just going to go and flatten the image and save. So I'm going to save it over the older one. I'm going to go back to Cinema 4D and inside my Texture, I'm just going to go and reload the image. So it's going to give me a new tileable texture. And now you should see in my preview that the texture is very much tileable, which is great. I'm still getting these four chips, these red chips that are popping up too regularly. So I'm just going to go back to Photoshop and fix that as well. It looks like it's these ones, so that one, and maybe that one as well. So generate the fill. Okay, perfect. So select both layers and flatten image and save. Okay, so now back to Cinema 4D. And I'm just going to reload the texture inside the slot. And now I should see that's it, that's perfect now. So nice, nice, perfectly tellable. And I'm going to back, going to go to uh, the texture size. I'm going to increase the size of it by 50%. So it's 50 on the UNV to make it slightly bigger. And now I've got my texture done, but what about the size? This is still only a 500 uh, pixel wide texture. So how do I make it bigger? Now there's a free uh, software that you can download. Uh, you can go to a software called Upscale. If I tap in upscale that's a y l so upscale is a free ai image upscaler so if you go to the website and download it for free i believe it's for mac and pc so if you just download it and install it on your machine i've got it got it installed so i'm just going to go and open it up so upscale so here's the interface very simple so all you need to do is drag your image into this window or select an image to upload so i'm just going to drag it and drop it into the window up here. So here it is. That's my texture. And in these settings, you can determine whether you want it to upscale it up to four times. You can go down to three, two, or one. I'm going to keep it to four because five times four equals 20. So it's going to give me a, and at least 2000 uh, pixel wide. So I'm going to do that first and I might have to go back and upscale it again to get my 4K texture. So I'm going to go to, uh, Keep it as PNG. 
it's going to ask me what folder I want to save it in. So I'm going to go um, select output folder. I'm going to go upscale. So as you can see down here, it's upscaling from 500 pixels to 2000 by 2000. And that's it done. It's pretty fast. As you can see, the uh, upscale is pretty successful. That's before and that's after. Very clear, very, very good. And what I'm going to do now, since I've got my 2000 uh, pixel texture, I'm going to I'm going to drag it back into the upscaler down here. And I'm going to upscale it, not four times because that's eight that's 8k i don't want an 8k texture we I mean, could do if you wanted to but i just want a 4k so i'm just going to go back to my settings i'm going to decrease the amount of uh, i want to decrease it to two so i'm going for to two from two to four so yeah that's about 4k texture i'm going to do L scale again okay so the image is ready for upload so you can see the difference between the 2k and the 4k which is great and as you can see, our texture is looking amazing. Very detailed. And that's exactly what we want it. So this is how you can create tileable, high resolution, detailed textures just from screenshots from the internet. So you can find any texture you like. And if you just apply those techniques and principles we did in Photoshop, you should be able to create your own uh, 4k high resolution textures so i hope that was useful to you and i will see you in the next video